All right, parents, hopefully you've taken care of your Easter baskets. If not, don't worry, we have some ideas for you. Today is the last day, of course, you can do them. Most people stock them up with the peeps, the jelly beans, those chocolate bunnies, which is okay, but remember in moderation. So we wanted to make things a little healthier for you and for your kids, most importantly. That's why we have Najla Kayem from CrossFit Scottsdale here with some ideas on how to make them happen. More importantly, how to keep it still fun for the kids. And I think parents will throw in maybe some bubbles or thing like that but you really have focused Najla, on making this truly something that'll last even beyond the day absolutely um, at CrossFit Scottsdale we're all about fun and functional fitness and really making it a healthy lifestyle for the entire family and so Easter is a great opportunity to kind of replenish some of the supplies that you have in your house like art supplies uh, coloring books crayons markers things like that that kind of go by the wayside throughout the year that um, we can kind of capitalize on and not have candy with. Perfect. Let's start with this. Yeah. You have like a basket that's perfect for a four-year-old. And I was thinking, oh, my little Zoe would love all these things in yeah. here. And they're great ideas. So shoes are an awesome idea. You know, like even when you're doing little Easter egg hunts, little nail polishes. Oh, I love that. They love that. Um, little boys with the little cars. Money, of course, is always a great hit. Stickers, tattoos, things like that are, are great to fill instead of traditional candy. And if you are gonna choose candy, um, you wanna kind of go more towards the chocolates and the peanut butter type things versus the sticky things that get stuck in your teeth and um, that really have no nutrient value. Okay, for a little older kid, you've incorporated some healthy snacks, which sure. I love. So some cinnamon covered almonds, you've got um, some different bubbles, some uh, instruments here, flip-flops. Kids always need an extra pair of flip-flops. Toys to get them outside. So, um, you oh, know, you've got a lot great. of these smash balls and catchers and Lego sets and jump ropes and baseball bats and things to keep them going. And then as they get a little older, you know, maybe a DVD or a book. Oh. Uh, Rise of the Guardians is a pretty popular movie right now that... Um, kids are really into. So. You know what I love is that you've made it all so functional. Things that parents might say, I'm going to have to get some new flip-flops for the summer. I'm going to have to buy some more paints anyways, but throw it in the Easter basket. Absolutely, yeah. And you know, a great fun thing to do also with the Easter egg hunts is we're all about functional movements, right? So getting you to do things that your body innately was meant to do, uh, standing, pushing, running, pulling. And so in the little Easter egg cups, maybe doing, you know, five push-ups or five sit-ups oh, or five squats or uh, run a lap or something like that to get them moving during the Easter egg hunts as well. And that's what you guys are going to be doing at your Easter egg hunt yes. that you're holding for everybody, guys. It's open. You don't have to be a member of CrossFit. No, and you don't have to be a member, and it's actually today at 11 a.m., and it's for kids ages um, 5 and up, so 5 okay. to about 9, you know, where Perfect. they're not pushing each other over. And you're going to make them do some push-ups? Yep, they will be doing <laughs> some physical activity before they get rewarded. Love it. And they're by the Costco there up on 83rd Place and, uh, um, and Rain Tree, Tree. Rain Tree in the Air Park in Scott Scottsdale, you can find us at CrossFitScottsdale.com or give us a call at 480-922-3253. All right, and don't worry, folks, the, the information for CrossFit Scottsdale on our website as well if you need to look that up. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank ma you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. 11 a.m. is their uh, big Easter egg hunt. Stay with us, folks. A fresh look of news coming up here on Good Morning Arizona.